All right. So as I said, we're going to do some uh, breaking down of the stuff going on in the Disney World at the D23 Expo. And we're going to give you guys a new segment when we have a ton of stuff that we're going to go through kind of like fast and furious. We're calling it the rundown. So here is our new segment. Welcome to the rundown. Uh, these little intros, I got to give a shout out to my daughter, hey. Layla. She is uh, one of the, uh, basically the sole paid employee for Freedom Story Media. <laughs> she the only one getting paid. And she uh, hooked us up with these cool little segment intros. But yes. we are rocking out the rundown here today. And I don't want to waste too much time because we got like 22 announcements we're going to share. And that's not even everything that they shared because they were over like what, three days or something exactly. with the expo? Yeah. And we kind of cherry picked our favorites uh, that we want to uh, share with you guys. So we're going to kind of go in uh, chronological order, but we're going to save our favorite elements for last to discuss. So coming up next uh, in the, the timeline, actually this Wednesday, uh, they're releasing Andor. So Andor is a new show uh, that's coming to Disney+. Plus. Uh, that is, you know, a Star Wars vehicle. It's a spinoff of the Rogue One uh, series and or Rogue One movie, which was actually the best of the new stuff, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they, they, what they, what they released right around the same time as the D twenty three Expo was an extended like clip from the show. So uh, I saw that. That was pretty cool. Are you excited about this one at all? Yeah, because I, I really like Rogue One as well. It's one of the better of the new star Wars. And I, I love a spinoff. So if you want Good to spin spin off. anything off, I'm going to watch it. <laughs> like I remember you saying how you liked Frasier and that was a spinoff of. Oh, Cheers, from Cheers. Right? Yeah. yeah. I love yeah. Frasier. Watch it every single night. Yeah. I heard this one is you watch it every single night. I do not want to pass that. I, wow. I, fall asleep too. <laughs> wow. I heard this one is supposed to be a bit more story driven than yeah. some of the other star Wars stuff and feels like Star Wars, but not fully like Star Wars. So I'm excited to see how that goes. So okay. that is Andor. All right, number two, we've got Hocus Pocus 2. Yes. Uh, for, for those of you guys who watched the first one, which came out in 93, um, they, they've got the same cast coming back. Um, they've aged a bit. <laughs> <It's the time. laughs> yeah, I mean, but it's like, what, 30 years later. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, you know, they still are back at it with their, their magic. So that's coming in uh, September, actually, so September 30th. So in yeah, maybe a week right. and a half. Or so. <laughs> yeah, I think that's coming straight to Disney Plus as well. Yep. Um, then the next one, we've got Werewolf by Night. Werewolf by Night, they announced as an actual thing. Uh, so some of you guys who might have been uh, Moon Knight fans, uh, they had a um, like a QR code that you could scan in the Moon Knight show that was on like a wall or somewhere. If you scan that, it took you to a comic book that was called Werewolf by Night. <laughs> and so they actually turned it into a show. It's coming out October 7th. And it's going to be a bit like, um, you know, old school, you know, film yeah. noir. I don't yeah. know, like those. That's like a Dracula feel. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm curious to see if that's going to be anything. I mean, it's different. So I like that, you know, yeah. so that'll be coming to Disney plus on the 7th of October. All right. Number four, we got tales of the Jedi. Uh, they announced that as uh, it's going to be having its episodes coming out October 26th. This is actually for a lot of those clone wars fans, folks who have really loved that and um, really got into, you know, um, um, storylines with Count Dooku and Ahsoka, who are going to be the featured characters of this. Mm -hmm. They're going to give you a little bit of the, the light days of Count Dooku before he went dark. So it's kind of like how they did with Anakin. They're doing that now with Count Dooku. So yeah. um, I want to pick up the pace here. I'm looking at the time. It's like, man, five minutes and we're only through four. We got 22. <laughs> so I'm going to start hitting these faster. All right. Okay. So we got Disenchanted. The, that's coming on November 24th. Uh, it is 15 years later, and now she's looking for a new fairy tale, and she screws up, and now her fairy tale is going to go all wrong, and she's going to become like the villain, it looks like, from the trailer. They yeah. released the trailer. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. Willow, November 30th. If you watch the first one, he's still little, 
and uh, Willow, Willow is uh, coming uh, November 30th, where it's, it's like before there was Lord of the Rings, there yes. was Willow. Yes. <laughs> Mandalorian 3 coming on Feb in February of next year. Um, they uh, released a trailer for that. Looks dope. Um, it looks better than Book of Boba. Looks like they're going back to the recipe. Yeah. Mandalorian season one and two. So I'm excited about that. Then we got Indiana Jones 5. I laugh as I say this because I found out that Jariel never saw the first Indiana Jones no, or the second or I the third know. or the fourth. <laughs> so look, you can pass the fourth one. The fourth one was garbage. Okay. <laughs> this one they said it's supposed to be good, but why would they ever say it was going to be bad? So I don't know. Maybe we'll I'll see. have a, a little binge fest. <laughs> <laughs> That's supposed to be coming out next summer. So okay. uh, we'll see about that. Harrison Ford on the stage looked old. So I don't know how that's going to go. <laughs> yeah. uh, then we got Elemental. Um, they showed a, a little image of some of the characters. If I'm being honest, the characters look a lot like somebody from Soul, one of the Pixar yeah. films, as well as one of the characters from Inside Out. Out. It's like but, a combination of the two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's like this character, Wade, who's like water, and this character, Ember, who's like fire. And I guess their journey together coming June 16th, also next summer. Then we got Ironheart. So we're going back to the MCU here. Um, actually, this might be the first real MCU one that we really talked about. Uh, Ironheart is set to come out in the fall of 2023. And uh, they announced on the stage that not only Ryan Coogler is the executive producer of that. Ryan Coogler was the director of Black Panther mm -hmm. and Black Panther 2 will kind of forever. But they also announced that uh, the uh, villain to Ironheart's hero is going to be The Hood, played by Anthony Ramos, uh, who we might know from, um, what, Hamilton and that new one that he did. Um, gosh, it was another Lin-Manuel one. They're in the Heights. Yes. Um, so he was like the main guy in that. And so now he's going to be the villain in this. And it looks like it's going to be setting science against supernatural. Yeah. So that'll be interesting. So um, that's fall of 2023. Then we got Daredevil, Born Again. Uh, that is going to be a reboot of the Daredevil franchise, not, not carrying on the Netflix stories, but they're going to be resetting it. We even got a taste of a little bit of a new look to Daredevil. If you've been watching mm -hmm. in She-Hulk, they dropped a little bit of a, of a teaser for that at the end of this fifth episode which is my least favorite She-Hulk episode. Not getting into that right now, though. <laughs> that is coming out in the spring of 2024. And it's going to be 18 episodes. So that's wow. going to be a beat. Yeah, that's I'm looking serious. forward to that. And then we got Snow White. Um, will be uh, released as a live action on March 22nd of 2024, featuring Gal Gadot, who you should know from Wonder Woman. Uh, we mm -hmm. won't talk about Wonder Woman uh, 1984, because that was garbage. But <laughs> the first one was great. Yes. And hopefully she kills it in this one as well. I'm, I'm imagining that she might be more of the Wicked Witch or the, uh, I don't know who the, what's the bad guy in Snow White? Uh, it's like a witch. Yeah. The, Maybe not. Maybe she'll be Snow White. I don't the know. Evil Queen. Evil Queen. Yeah, Evil Queen. She gives me Evil Queen vibes. Let me just yeah. put it that Yeah. She's definitely we'll not. See. She's too older to play Snow White. So yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Snow White's supposed to be like young and like, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, and then Inside Out 2. We kind of mentioned Inside Out already, but Inside Out 2 is coming June 14th, 2024. That's where they're actually going to be taking the same girl and making her a teenager. And uh, we go into these in a bit more detail in an epic episode of the Good Dad, Bad Dad podcast, which you can uh, be on the lookout for soon. They're one of the sponsors of this segment. But my co-host and I, Eric, we did a two-hour episode <laughs> on the release of this. Never been that long before. But I digress. Inside Out 2, uh, I think it's going to be a bit more explosive because now we're looking at the feelings of a teenager. Yeah, I'm excited about that one. <laughs> yeah, that one seems weird. <laughs> Interesting, I should say. Yeah. Um, Mufasa, The Lion King. Uh, that is going to be a prequel uh, and going into Mufasa's story, but not cartoon. That's going to be live action. I wasn't yeah. a fan of the live action Lion King, but I think it was because it was just the same story. Basically. And so we'll see with this being something fresh. Maybe it'll be interesting to me. That's July 5th, 2024. And then we got Fantastic Four coming out November 8th. That is uh, also 2024. 
We don't really have a cast yet, but I just heard a rumor. I don't know if you heard this, that John, John Krasinski, who showed up as Fantastic Four in the last Doctor Strange, yeah. is out what? and not going to be. That's what I heard. It was a rumor. Don't quote me on this. But the rumor is that he's not going to be the fan, uh, the uh, you know, Mister Fantastic. So we'll see. Aren't um, we getting not, Henry Cavill though? I don't know. So I heard that is not in. I don't. I mean, I heard that he was going to be Doctor Doom, right? Yeah. Potentially, we'll see. Yeah. I mean, you know, people just talk. People just say <laughs> things, and then you watch the thing, and it's like, wait a minute, that wasn't it's it. Henry Cavill. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. It'd be great to get him over from DC and like, ha, he's ours yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we got uh, Armor Wars. They didn't give us an actual release date, but uh, they're starting filming next year. So I'm guessing maybe 2024 sometime. Um, that's going to be tr uh, following War Machine. I did, however, hear that fulfills Don Cheadle's contract. Oh, wow. That he won't be under contract anymore. I don't think that means he's done. Yeah. But it could. He's yeah. free to not continue. Yeah. But I don't know. He also got nominated for like an Emmy for his part in what was it? Like Captain America, uh Falcon and Winter Soldier, which was oh. like he did like this much in there. And they got I'm like, bro, really? Y'all just trying to give him awards. I ain't mad, but he was yeah. even surprised. <laughs> All right, so we saved our favorites for last. So we're going to talk a little bit about, um, let's see. Oh, I don't have the, the trailers queued up here. Uh, let's see if I can grab those real quick. Uh, but we've got <laughs> we've got our, our favorite kind of um, story, stories or shows that are coming. So one of those was Wakanda Forever, um, which is, you know, I mean, it's Wakanda Forever. So. It, they had an amazing trailer that they released for that. Uh, that I mean, it was just kind of touching and kind of heartbreaking in some parts where they're, you can see that they're trying to celebrate, you know, um, um, yeah. with Bozeman. Yeah. That. But uh, what are you most excited about with that, Dario? Uh, I'm kind of just interested to see what they're going to do with this story. Um, I know it's probably just gonna be a tearjerker because I can't watch Black Panther without getting emotional now. I'm like, oh. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, I'm just excited about what they're gonna do with the characters. And I just love like the visuals that Ryan Coogler has in his movies. It's just like amazing. Yeah, I mean, he he knocked it out of the park with the first one. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was like a, a huge introduction to Ryan Coogler, like, because nobody knew who he was, you know, yeah. like what he what he can do, and uh, I'm I'm so curious about who's gonna be the new Black Panther. We see the introduction of oh, there is there she is, uh, Riri Williams, who's gonna be Ironheart. So she gets we see oh my gosh, Namor the Submariner, who was um you know a classic one of the the first characters in the Marvel comic book uh, Avengers, I want to say, but uh yeah, this looks like it's gonna be really dope. And they, um, 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 I don't know. They got they got a, a hard act to follow with the first one. Exactly. It's going to be so, a tough, tough one to do, but I'm excited. And this one, I was telling our my co-host in Good That Bad That podcast, I was saying this is the one that is most likely to disappoint me, and not because I'm like afraid it's going to be bad. But because I have such high expectations for it, mm -hmm. so it's almost like it can only either meet or disappoint. You know? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Mercedes, you say you've only seen the first. Is that from? Oh, that was a comment from like five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That must have been about Indiana oh, Jones. It's like Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Going back to the Indiana Jones bit. Um, the first one was great. I actually literally just saw that again last night. But the the third one, the the Last Crusade with Sean Connery, that was my favorite one. Okay. And then they followed that up by the trash that was the Crystal Skull or whatever. So, <laughs> anyways, we want to get back. We don't want to get back to that. But Wakanda Forever, that's that's going to be coming out on uh, November 11th. So that's right around the corner. We're talking yeah. like two months. So Super excited. pumped about that. I'll probably yeah. see that at least twice in the theaters. Yes. 
Uh, do you have any uh, predictions about who you think is going to be the new Black Panther? I I don't. I I hope they just. I hope whatever choice they make, like it it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't really. I, care I have confidence in that. Yeah, as long as it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then we've got a uh, secret invasion. Secret invasion was um, is a new storyline here that is really going more into Fury's story. Yeah. And we get uh, we get uh, a bit of a bit more of his character development, and then we also are going to get to see this this thing that's been building with the scrolls. We kind of saw. Sneaks of that, like a, like a WandaVision, I think, where it's like, wait, who's Marvel, real, who's not man. real? What was that? And Miss Marvel? And Captain Marvel. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. This is different. So it's like, yeah. things are going to be revealed. And I love So what are you so excited about with that one? Security. Well, I love anything with Samuel Jackson. How much do I know about him? I mean, that is where I get Fury from, right? Yeah. Like from Nick Fury, his role in the first Avengers. Mm-hmm. When he pops up in a movie, I, I always love it. So I, I just can't wait to see what they do with the scrolls because it's like potentially they could be anybody. I mean, you never right. know. Right. That that's a it's a game changing storyline in the MCU that can like that could be a way that they they literally rewrite the ending for other people. Mm-hmm. Like if somebody ended up getting killed and they're like you know what actually we don't think that that should they could bring back iron man in this way exactly i don't think they will do that but no. I think that's the <laughs> one thing i'm excited about with this one is the potentiality of them having uh some people from the show agents of shield uh, oh, because yes. it's more going into the shield world that would be cool to get like a quake in there, uh, Chloe yeah. Bennett, you know, so we'll see. Um, I'm yeah. looking forward to Secret Invasion as well. And then we've got um, one of those that I think has been, um, I don't want to call it controversial. It's only controversial because people are ridiculous. Ridiculous. But, yeah. But we've got the uh, one and only Little Mermaid um, coming back. This is the, the first live action of Little Mermaid. And uh, they did the great reveal of Haley Bailey as mm-hmm. Little Mermaid in this little teaser trailer that they give you. And they're showing you the the, the world of her underworld, or the you know, underwater world, which is uh, super cool to see. Um, is there anything that you are particularly excited about with this? Well, I'm excited about this soundtrack because she can sing. Like it's gonna be Facts. awesome. I'm like, yeah. man, this soundtrack is gonna be amazing. Yeah, um, I agree. And it, and like the the look, like the cinematography and the the, the building of that underwater world actually looks yeah. good. Like yeah. It looks legit. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm actually just excited about it being a good movie, and then people just being like, "Why was I caring that a mermaid was black?" <laughs> it's like so suddenly you think mermaids are real. That now they can't be whatever color that we choose. Like exactly. <laughs> like surprise people aren't going nuts over Avatar. Why are they have to be blue? Exactly. Like, what? <laughs> and Avatar <laughs> 2 was one of those things that was announced. And actually yeah. it's not on our list. I don't know why it didn't make the list, but they announced Avatar 2's um yeah. release and everything. So um we got Little Mermaid, the live action coming, and that'll be uh super dope. And then we've got they uh, announced uh, Thunderbolts cast. Mercedes yes. said, "Wait, Little Mermaid is her favorite." Look, Mercedes, yes. look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say some, I'm gonna say, say some real quick. Let's step back off of Thunderbolts for a second. I know we're <laughs> over the time in the segment, so I'm gonna just put it out there. Growing up, I had a mad crush on Little Mermaid. <laughs> I had a mad crush. Like, <laughs> like if I could date a cartoon, I was gonna date Ariel. <laughs> She was she was my boo, and yeah. then <laughs> so much so actually we almost named Layla Ariel my daughter, <laughs> but Larissa was like no, nah. like no thanks, <laughs> no we not having that. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had oh, to share. Yeah. All right, 
Thunderbolts, Thunderbolts, Thunderbolts. Yes. Thunderbolts is uh, actually the thing I'm probably the most excited about because it's the closest thing that we're going to get to the Avengers for a while. There's going to be another Avengers movie in, what is that, like 2025, I think it is? There's two of yeah. them coming out. There's like Kang Dynasty and the Secret Wars. Um, yeah. That's, that's, that's like two whole phases away. <laughs> um, <laughs> But Thunderbolts is going to be at the end of phase. Oh, Rashonda laughing at my love of Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, Thunderbolts is going to be a collection of some kind of anti heroes. Yeah. So we've got uh, the Contessa, whatever her name is, Valentina, something, something, something. Yeah. It's Elaine. <laughs> Elaine from Seinfeld. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's bringing together this band of misfits. She's kind of like the, uh, the, anti Nick Fury, if you will. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the crew is going from left to right. So we got Contessa and then we got Ghost from Ant-Man yeah. and Wasp. Mm -hmm. Then we got uh, Red Guardian, who's uh, the, the dad from Black Widow. And then her or his daughter, one of the two, is Yelena. The, um, um, I think in other cases, they've called her the White Widow. I don't know if they're going to refer to the, her that in this you know show and stuff. But she's hilarious. Love yeah. her. I love and that. then you've got Bucky, you know, Winter Soldier, probably the most stable of the crew. That's actually that's what they said when they announced this. Uh, Kevin Feige was like, "It's crazy when you're the most stable member of the group," <laughs> 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 because then we go to the really broken version of Captain America, yeah, uh, U.S. Agent. Um, he's he's nut job, but he's part of the crew. And then you got Taskmaster, also from Black Widow, who has her own broken story. So I don't know what their whole thing's going to be, if they're going to look more like good guys or bad guys, but okay. I think they're really going to be more like the gray, you know, the yeah. in-between of the good yeah. and the bad. So uh, that is everything that we are most excited. Is there anything that you want to say more about Thunderbolts? Because I feel like I took over that one. Well, I'm glad you clarified who the person on the end was. I was so confused. <laughs> I was like... When I first saw her, I thought it was Echo. Oh. See, I thought it was the guy from uh, Captain America, the one I don't like. <laughs> like you know, oh, the one it. on the end on the right. Yeah, the girl. Oh, the girl on the left. No, not the girl from Ant Man. The the one that I think she got burned. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Taskmaster. Yeah. Yeah, I thought she was someone else. I'm like, who? Is gotcha. This? <laughs> yeah, so I'm yeah. glad you clarified. But and yeah, that was I'm that was that was a controversial. Um, character when they put her out on the big screen because in the comic books taskmaster really hardcore learns how to do everybody's fights moves mm -hmm. and everything and replicates exactly what they do yeah. and then is like really strong and then for that to be like this this just really messed up in the head young woman like it just yeah. felt, felt weird yeah so. And I'm all for including more and more women, you know, in the MCU. Yeah. That that one specifically felt like, huh. But whatever. Yeah. They could have done more with that. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. So that is uh, what we are excited about. Let us know in the comments, whether you're watching this live or on the replay, if there's anything that you're specifically excited about that you heard about at D23 or some of the thoughts you have on some of the stuff that we shared. Thank you.